going on everybody? I'm just sitting here, it's like 12.15 in the a.m. over here. Northside in Legacy, you know, that's where I live. I won't tell you the apartment number because then you might track me down because I'm like really well liked by the ladies and stuff, you know. Uh, ever since getting this big dog that I that I got, he's four months exactly today, September 22nd, and you know he's great. I love what he does. You know he sits there. He comes to me when he wants to play. I take him for walks. I feed him. But sometimes he takes a shit in pee on my carpet and my floor. Now, he got a lot better, but over over time, he, he's mainly picked out one spot he likes to go to every, every damn time. And that's in my bathroom, uh, on one of my, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my rugs. <laughs> Something got caught, I don't know what that was. <laughs> that, was a, that was a disaster right there. But anyway, he likes to go next to my cat's litter box. And then my cats won't go near it because they don't like the smell of it. You know, so then I'll go in and I'll see the cat take a shit somewhere else completely where he's not supposed to go. I've got two male cats and, you know, they put up with him fine and everything. But the thing is, you know, this this damn dog has to grow up. I mean, I understand he's a puppy or whatever. He's like 55 pounds. It's the same Bernard, by the way, and I'm, I'm sure you've seen him in, in a couple videos that I've made. Um, but I love him to death. He's a great animal, very friendly, gentle giants is what they call him. The um, thing is, I can't put up with the goddamn shit and piss all over my apartment. I have to clean my carpet like once a month now. And I gotta go rent a rug doctor and that's like $50 every time you rent it. You know? So you gotta haul it back to Home Depot and then to Home Depot and it, you know, it just gets crazy. Um, but yeah, he's a great, he's a great little dog, you know, here, check him out, he's right there. Look at him go, see? Doggy, looky. Yeah, look at him. He's like, I wouldn't hurt a damn thing. Yeah, when I go to sleep later, you're gonna go into the goddamn bathroom and take a shit, and I'm gonna have to wake up to it, and you don't know what that sound is, what that smell is like. It's pretty atrocious. So, and he looks like he wants attention right now, but... I'm not giving him anything because I already fed him and he needs to go to sleep instead of running around causing ruckus. But anyway, um, you can see he's he's quite large. He's about 50 pounds at four months and his dad was over 220. So I'm expecting him to be rather large, you know, which is a good thing. And... Uh, We'll see how, you know, how fast it takes them to grow. The, the vet was, you know, was telling me that these big dogs, they grow in two stages. You know, first year they put, uh, they get big, and then the second year they put on the weight. You know, because I can already tell, if you can tell, you know, his face is, his head is getting really big, and it's a big block, and he's growing into his ears, but his paws are massive, you know, and everybody comments on that, usually the first thing, like, Oh my God! You know these his, his paws are so big. I can't believe he's a puppy, but you know it's his breed. Saint Bernards are big dogs, very loyal, very loving. You know he gets around with my cats just fine, but uh, he's a pretty lazy dog. He's a great breed to have, but it just takes a lot of time and effort to keep up with them, especially with the food. I gotta buy like a bag of food once a month, and that's about maybe thirty bucks on food a month. You know, so 30 times 12, I'm guessing, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be quite some, some amount of money. I've had him for about two months now. And, uh, got him at eight weeks, and he was almost 15 pounds then. And a little baby compared to what he is now. So I can't wait to, uh, see him in full action and full grown and everything because, you know, He's going to be impressive, and he's going to get probably more attention than he does right now. Although I could be wrong. So, we'll see what happens. And, uh, you know, I guess that's all I have to say about the dog. And, uh, I would like to thank you guys for checking me out. I'll be making more videos and movies and stuff, you know. 
when time permits and you know when I feel like it because I'm professional and I need to do my job and I need to make money or else I wouldn't be able to put up with that guy right there because he would eat me out of house and home and I wouldn't be able to live but you gotta love him look at the face look at him help me yeah see he, he, he's trapped I guess you know what are you gonna do <laughs> well anyway we're gonna get you out with some music here I'm a big 80s guy so uh, you know hopefully you guys can understand that uh, it, it's all cool and um, I, I don't think so you know I don't know I'm trying to find a cool song for you guys on this thing but it's not it's not working you know last FM it's a great site I love it but um, you know when you want something to work it never does it seems that way at least to me I just have zero luck that's it you know um, I don't want to listen to Christmas songs what the fuck oh yeah man here's one you'll like it see you got that beat listen to that yeah they're going nuts panties are dropping right now 1985 you know it. You put on your little Converse jeans and get in your little, uh, you know, maybe Geo Metro, I guess, if you can't afford anything else. I mean, personally, I'd rather ride Schwinn. But Geo Metro, if you got it, just listen to the chorus. It's great, you know. Yeah, you know, so it's going to fade out. And I guess I'm going to say goodbye here, but I'll give you one more shot of the dog. And we'll see what's going on. Puppy! Hey. Hey. Look. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Good boy. So, that's my cue to say hasta la vista. And I guess I'll, I'll see you around. Later.